Hi everyone, in today's tutorial video, I'll be showing you guys how to use a new decentralized exchange called ZK Swap. Now this DEX differs from the likes of Uniswap and OneInch because it uses a ZK rollup technology to allow for fee-free trading. That's right, you heard it, fee-free trading. And since I was recently airdropped some ZK Swap tokens from their recent mainnet launch, I thought I'd give back to the community by doing this tutorial video. Now I would recommend that you read their white paper, but let's launch the app itself. So this is the main interface of the exchange. To unlock your wallet, you must first ensure that you're connected to MetaMask and click unlock wallet. There you will have to sign a transaction to proceed. And once that's done, your wallet is unlocked. As you can see, I deposit earlier 100 ZKX tokens as I was testing it out earlier. Now this is the main difference between this decentralized exchange and other exchanges is because you must first deposit tokens onto layer 2 before you can interact with this exchange. And I'll show you guys how to do that now. So you go to click deposit and then you must first select the token you want to add to layer 2. In this case it will be ETH and I'm going to send about 0.034 ETH and click confirm. Now it's going to open up MetaMask where I must confirm the transaction. Now this initial transaction, the deposit to the account, is going to cost you gas. And today seems like an especially bad day because the gas fees are extremely high. So what I will do is probably wait a couple of days when the network has settled down and I'll try this transaction again. Okay everyone, so I'm back after a few days and Hey, would you look at that? It seems the value of the ZKX token has risen, so people are finding use for it. So let's go back and click deposit once more. And I'm going to put in the same amount of ETH as last time. And click confirm. Now today the gas prices are not as bad, so let's click confirm. Once that is done, all we have to do is wait for the transaction to confirm. Now that may take a couple of minutes, but you can always go and check Etherscan to see the progress of your transaction. So now that the transaction has been confirmed, that yellow notification is going to disappear. And if I go back to the main dashboard, you will see that my Ethereum has been deposited onto the account. In time, I can deposit more, send or withdraw my tokens from the account. But the main feature of this exchange will be the layer 2 swap where I select any token I want, in this case my ZKX, and I'm going to sow about 10 of these tokens into either Ethereum or USDT. In this case, I'm going to go with USDT and I'm going to get about $36 for this swap. I click swap and it's going to open up the transaction in metamask where i must sign it and as you can see there are no transaction fees involved once i click sign i have to wait again and then i may have to sign once more for the transaction to be completed and just like that the swap is completed i'm going to close off this window i could either perform another transaction but i'm going to go back to the main wallet and I'm going to show you guys that the transaction is underway. Once I give it some time, it should confirm and I should see my wallet balance updated. The next thing I want to show you guys is how to withdraw. Click the withdraw tab and there you'll see your connected Ethereum account. You can select the token and the amount to withdraw and there is a fixed fee of $5 for every withdrawal. And that to me is a good deal is better than what any exchange or any DEX at this moment is offering. Considering the high gas fees on Ethereum. But let's explore some other features of this deck such as the pool this is where you can add liquidity to the protocol by depositing certain pairs of tokens so i'm actually going to try it out for you all in this video by depositing some of the same usdt that i would have just swapped and the corresponding amount of zkx tokens and then i click supply of course it's a transaction which I must confirm on MetaMask and I click sign and there is no gas fee once again and just like that I have added liquidity to the protocol. Let's quickly explore some other features of this DEX. If I head over to mining 
you realize that there are two types of mining that you can do proof of gas mining and proof of stake mining let's check out the proof of gas mining it appears you need your ethereum on layer one to participate in this kind of mining and i must read up more upon it before i fully understand what i am doing now if we head over to proof of stake mining this is where you can stake your zkx tokens to earn a portion of the distribution rewards every 14 days now i may participate in this but i would have to withdraw my zkx from the exchange they do offer a tutorial on mining which i would recommend all of you go and do your own research before you make any of these transactions if you head over to more you'll see some other useful information such as the bug reporting tutorials and all of their social media accounts now the last thing i want to show you guys is the explorer and this is where you can get a broad overview of all of the metrics with the zkx platform now this brings me to the end of my overview of the zkx decentralized exchange if you enjoyed this video and you learned something, remember to smash that like button, subscribe and leave a comment below. Now if you want to help your friends save on some gas fees with their trades, then you will share this video with them. But please give them the disclaimer that this decentralized exchange is relatively new and therefore they should proceed with caution. Now this YouTube channel itself is not monetized and it relies on donations and sponsors from viewers like you. So if you care to, you can leave a generous donation to help support future videos like this on the channel. Now I just want to say thank you for watching and have a good day.